Well, let's see what we got here inside this kit that they sent. Oh, <clears throat> okay. I got a nice looking bag. It has a zipper on it. So we open that up. And uh, that's your Ethernet cable. Uh, looks like the USB cable. Well, this looks like anti-friction tape. More keys, some bolts, nuts, switches, and buttons. So they expect some things to break. And it looks like the, uh, the kitty thing that everybody prints on high laser. So I assume that this is cut on my laser. Not absolutely sure of that. But that's a pretty interesting kit, so we'll put all that away for now. Huh. A soldering iron. I guess they expect something to break. I don't see any solder, but there's a soldering iron. Uh, a multimeter. I guess to test voltages and stuff. That's interesting. Well, they did include a pair of glasses. Uh, I won't say these are the best high quality ones and they I'm not quite sure there's specs on them but okay so they've included those. There's no model number or anything on these. Uh, this looks like a vent that goes through a wall. There's no um, hmm there's no uh, flapper on there, so I'm not sure I would want to use this one exactly. Okay, and there's the air pump. That's good. And uh, they included a, a power transformer to convert between 110 and 220. So that's pretty decent. I really didn't expect that. I was all set to wire this all up for 220. power cord for something and four wheels okay now these are probably the absolute cheapest lowest grade wheels I would have used these there they would uh, yeah I'm probably going to replace these with neoprene wheels but you know it's complete and it's not bad and everything gets stowed away in this little container so you know, it's without sincerely I can get everything back in the way it was supposed to. But very little of this will end up in here anyways. So that's what's inside of this little plastic bucket. And it's not bad. So they'll fit underneath the storage side. But 